Coming up today, we're obviously going to cover all of the very important news taking place here in the U.S., North America, and around the world. And we'll get an update from a young lady who's been joining us off and on since early last year. Syrian girl, a refugee from Syria. Uh, and, of course, uh, her family was formerly part of the ruling government, was anti-Assad. Um, that makes her even more credible uh, exposing the uh, rebels that have been injected by the West and everything she ended up telling us a year and a half ago has now unfortunately been proven correct and is now all in living color. So she'll give us an update for 30 minutes at the start of the next hour. And then uh, Marty Hahn, as in Han Solo, gotta love that name. Marty Hahn, the evil uh, magician, being sarcastic, who the federal government was going to make him get a disaster preparedness plan and insurance and all this stuff to, to continue to have uh, magic shows at birthday parties and things. Well, he fought it, and now the federal government's backing off, which just shows you have to fight the insanity. That's in the Washington Post today. We, we set him up last week, perfect timing to have him on today, because it was just announced today USDA holds off on disaster plan required for animal exhibitors. Uh, un until, of course, opposition goes away, so opposition must never go away. And it reminded me of two years ago when they said, uh, you're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna ban child labor on farms, and then we're gonna ban kids carrying the trash out. I mean, farms wouldn't run in this country, and you wouldn't have what's left of family farming, and it ain't much, if you weren't made when you're, you know, nine years old to go out and milk the cows at 5 a.m. I mean, that's just a horrible idea to have your own family send you out to milk the cows. Really get up at 5 a.m., have breakfast, go out, milk the cows, or feed the chickens, or throw some hay and range cubes to the cows if it's the wintertime and the cows are going to starve. You don't drive out in the pasture and feed them. I mean, that's, that's, that, that's how you learn how to do it. And then you end up learning how to work, and then when you get a job, you're not a lazy jellyfish like all these TV ads. See, I'm already digressing and ranting. Obviously, we await the fate of Bradley Manning. I was just watching him be marched into the uh, Pentagon uh, Tribunal, Pentagon courtroom in a weird black uniform. They had all these giant meatheads that looked like they'd had gallons of steroids injected into them, standing around with machine guns, just you know, always displaying uh, for everyone uh, out there uh, just the idea of having paramilitary forces everywhere, like we live in a third world country. It's all part of conditioning. But whistleblower or traitor, Bradley Manning to learn fate. Well, I think he's a hero, ladies and gentlemen. He said, sitting there as a drone operator, it was like watching children burn ants uh, with a magnifying glass. And they've had other drone operators testify who've done over 400 attacks, including attacks that have killed large groups of innocent people that it's like a video game, and they give the medals above the Purple Heart that my grandfather got multiple Purple Hearts in World War II, uh, got one during a German air raid on their, um, on their air base in North Africa, and then got another one uh, injured while in the air. And I guess, I guess he didn't have as much valor as some guy in Virginia or some guy in Utah or somebody in Arizona sitting in an air-conditioned trailer dropping bombs illegally on countries that Congress has not authorized military operations against. I mean, I'm sorry. And by the way, it won't be human soon, so let's just get past that. Let's give them the Congressional Medal of Honor. I mean, forget Audie Murphy. Give these guys Congressional Medal of Honor because it'll be autonomous drones are already in the air as of two years ago. Okay, so you won't, humans won't be doing this. They're using humans to train the computers right now. That's on record, we'll be back. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15 day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. You know, I don't screen phone calls. Everybody knows that. Except occasionally I will ask that people call in on a particular subject because I really want to get your take on it. I think it's thought-provoking and important. 
Do you think Bradley Manning is a whistleblower, a hero, or a traitor? Do you think Snowden is a whistleblowing hero or a traitor? And why do you think the Pentagon came out, I've been talking about this since Sunday, in a landmark case of, of candidness, the uh, head of DOD public relations and psyops, with all the head civilian and military counterparts, hundreds of them in an auditorium there at Fort Meade, Maryland at the NSA headquarters, that is a military base, uh, saying the public doesn't believe us, we've lost their confidence, we've got to stop lying to everyone. And then they let officers get up and say, I don't want to lie anymore. It was amazing. Some people could say, well, that was just meant to get our confidence again. No, the media didn't cover this. This was meant to get the confidence of the military personnel there that, hey, we're not the bad guys. Because the military's now woken up that foreign criminal interests have gotten control of most of the government. And there is now massive whistleblowing going on that never hits the light of day because no media even knows how to handle it. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I get stuff that I just say, sticking it in the shredder. Uh, because, I mean, even I've talked to constitutional lawyers, you name it. Uh, I don't even know how to vet or figure this stuff out. I know our whole office is under surveillance. All of our email is as well. And I am just completely overwhelmed. I mean, I was given some whistleblowing stuff hand-delivered last week. And I, 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 this, this is the crisis of conscience going on right now in government and in corporate America, the private sector, that will decide the future of our society. And it was an astounding uh, press conference last Thursday that got no attention. Press conference, press briefing, but there was a bunch of press there. And that just means that some higher up power that be had the kibosh put on it. And, and, and does that mean that somebody organized this press event and then it got basically vetoed by a honcho higher up. I don't know, but it's a big deal. And there's no need to recap that. Infowars.com covered it uh, Sunday morning because we saw it on Drudge. Uh, Drudge just just linked to the Pentagon and, and their, their transcript and their video. And the Pentagon obviously didn't come out and say Drudge isn't credible like the White House says. They said, no, it's credible basically, and it's scooping us over and over again, and then went on to say Drudge is now the acronym or the byword for real media that isn't state-run. And when you talk about state-run, again, this is a chicken or an egg scenario, and I, and I want to you know, telegraph this to people so it's easily understood, uh, but the real world is also complex. It's kind of like National Review had a hit piece a few weeks ago on me and said Alex Jones is incoherent and none of it makes any sense. And so why is he so popular? And well, I guess it shows we're still a free country because a lunatic like him can be on the radio all over the country. And I thought about it, I don't think that compartmentalized writer was saying I was incoherent because they were being deceptive. I think I am incoherent to people like that. And they're not going to understand what I'm saying. They're not going to understand what I'm doing. I mean, here's an example, because I heard part of the rebroadcast last night. It was about 11 o'clock, I was laying in bed, and I decided to tune in for five minutes to spot check my show. And I was talking about Delta Force bribing police chiefs, mayors, and others with hundreds of thousands of dollars apiece, and how we'd first discovered that, and then it had been in the Associated Press back in 1998. And then I'd gone to investigate further and done interviews with police chiefs all over Texas, including the San Antonio police chief. And that full interview in video is online on YouTube. Years later, we uploaded it and put it there. But I aired that on the radio at the time. And... When I've been with mainline reporters and I tell them something like that, they go, Delta Force, Special Army Special Operations, uh, most elite group, paying off police chiefs? You're crazy. Because it does sound like Martians are landing or something. It just, they're like, what? Why would they be paying off mayors and police chiefs? And I go, 
Well, they just make the initial uh, deal to compromise them so they can then be blackmail the officials. And then uh, then they can carry out covert military operations uh, and re recruit members of the police department for uh, murder for hire operations, narcotics trafficking. And then the, the reporter will always push back from the table and say, you're insane. And then I'll sit there and go, do you have LexisNexis on your laptop? And they go, yeah, I, I do. Well, here, let's look up Thomson Reuters or LexisNexis or even Google. And they go, oh, my goodness, it is an AP article about bribery and the police chief in Delta Force. And wait, you're in the article. And you, you, you did interview all these police chiefs and break this. And then they go, well, well, what does it mean? And I go, okay, well, it starts with Hitler. And they go, what does that mean? Well, Hitler didn't really conquer France. He paid off pretty much the entire French general staff and their field marshals in, in a five-year program before, infiltrating them and promising them that they could run the government, which they did, and it's called Vichy France. And then they go, oh, I do remember that. And they go, what's that have to do with this? And I go, it's the same program. But they've already covertly bought off all the police and mayors and, and even city council people. Some of them are getting up to half a million dollars a year from the Department of Defense. And I go, here, let's search 20 billion, 40 billion, 64 billion, 100 billion in the last decade of the Iraq war. Tens of billions flown in on pallets every year of cash to the local governments and the local resistance. They don't fight them. They pay them off. And they go, oh, I get it. There's been a covert coup by the U.S. military. But I go, ah, it's a private coup. C private corporate interest have hijacked the government. And now they command the government and are using the military because they're the only ones trained to go in under force multiplication and infiltration designed to stop communism and to go in and buy off communist officials or socialists who are on the verge of going full communist in the Eastern Bloc or Vietnam, uh, South Korea. This was supposedly used to stop Bolshevik infiltration. Marxist, Leninist, Stalinist, depending on the variety, oh, they're going to come offer women, drugs, money, power. We've got to fight fire with fire. So the U.S. military became experts, even before World War II at this kind of stuff, but afterwards really got into it. And the argument is if we don't deal the drugs, the Soviets will. They'll control the drug trade. So it was authorized by 1947 to have the CIA officially as a covert act of Congress, run the narcotics. I mean, folks, that's how long we've been under it. And again, I've had family involved in it. So stop being so naive, ladies and gentlemen. Stop being so stupid. The biggest business in this country is narcotics trafficking. Saying I've had family involved in the CIA that witnessed it is like saying I had family that worked for, for, for Disney or Frito-Lay or Ford Motor Company. I mean, it's no big deal. It's not all sexy and cool. It's embarrassing. The people that have told me about it are embarrassed about it. It's not some sexy thing because television shows you government agents as being wonderful, cool, great people. It, doesn't, it isn't like that. And so there, National Review, you say I'm incoherent about the military infiltrating America. I just explained what happened. So, but, but when I say there's been a military coup... It's not a military coup. It is a private corporate offshore infiltration using the organs of government to illegally and unlawfully convert the country into a corporate dictatorship. And presidents can come, presidents can go. But the, the corrupt oligarchy stays in place and now they've gotten greedy. They go, well, we'll just break up the family. We'll just make everybody take vaccines if we want that are deadly uh, to dumb them down and to make profits. And then when they get sick, we'll make money off the treatments. And we'll open the borders up and we'll...
pay 101 million people free food stamps and welfare to bankrupt the country and we'll create trillions of derivatives and sign you on to it and we'll ship General Motors to China with your taxpayer money and we'll devalue the dollar and we'll we'll come in with Agenda 21 and say everybody but us can't build on their own property now and we'll tell the police and anybody that resists us is a terrorist and we'll train to take your guns openly and put in army manuals that g gun owners are terrorists to be rounded up and put in re-education camps. This is all public. Because we allowed corruption to take hold, and now 60-plus years later, the very worst elements in the corporate-slash-government combine, that's what it is, that's what they call it, a combine, they're in control. And Hollywood knows this. You see a movie like The Shooter, where the old guy's laughing and going, you can't kill me and stop this. We're a combine. We're an entire system. You cut one head off, more grows. That's the problem. It's like cancer, ladies and gentlemen. But America knows the answer. Record gun purchases, people digging in. Anybody that's got a head on their shoulders is working to try to fix things politically while arming to the teeth and getting ready. Because let me tell you something, when these things implode like this, it'll implode so bad that the globalists won't even be able to ship in food and stuff for themselves. They're going to then go into predatory phase and literally put us in forced labor camps. And they know that and are preparing for that when things collapse. You're not going to ride around in a bunch of black war wagons and have your way with our wives. When you start this, we're going to stomp your ass into the ground. And we're not looking for this fight. But when you start it, you are going to get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I've been here for 18 years, 16 since I discovered this program to take over. And now we're in the middle of it. And the military is waking up to this because I've reverse engineered it historically and they know I'm accurate because they're living it. Now you got a decision which side you're going to be on. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now, that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. You found it, the tip of the spear, when it comes to trying to defend our constitutional republic and reverse the tide of corporate collectivism being sold by the new world order that is so dehumanizing. Big broadcast lined up here today. Syrian girl with the latest on the Al-Qaeda forces. Our government is publicly funding to engage in mass murder all over the Middle East. She's going to be popping in for 30 minutes. Then Marty Hahn, uh, who, of course, was told he had to have a disaster preparedness plan, insurance, all sorts of stuff to have a... Uh, to have public rabbit shows, magic trick shows. There's been a, a federal development they're backing off for now on that front. He's going to be popping in just to show how the regulations are designed to shut this country down. And towards the uh, last 30 minutes of the broadcast, we're going to have the second place in the Operation Paul Revere film contest on. Uh, David Knight to, to, to play a few of the other runner-ups for second place uh, and then to announce second place uh, today. I want to be clear when I start you know, getting on air and talking about what's happened, you notice Bill Clinton came in and this real takeover program with the Delta Force and buying off local police began. Uh, and that's when they really used the CIA to infiltrate local government and really try to internationalize it, not even federalize it. So the, the coup has been accelerating. Uh, it continued under Bush, but actually kind of slowed down a little bit because they were mainly focused outward, but they did set up Homeland Security, but that was still focused outward. As soon as Obama got in, it flipped to gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, returning veterans are the new terror threat. And then Big Sis, when we released that document that uh, Homeland Security Sources gave us, we broke all that uh, four and a half years ago, uh, if you remember, the MIAC and Homeland Security reports, she came out and shocked everyone and said, no, that's true. It is the veterans. It is the gun owners. They are the number one terror threat. People went, wow, you weren't lying. What do you think I get up here and lie on purpose? I make mistakes every once in a while. 
and we correct them. I don't make that up. I've received hundreds of Homeland Security documents that we've put on air. Only a few of them have gone viral, usually because Drudge Report picks it up. Or because our listeners figure out it's important and get it out to everybody. But, I mean, you know, Army Manual says they're going to put gun owners in re-education camps. And a lot of people go, well, I better shut up, not be involved. No, you better be involved. In fact, people don't believe it. Put it on screen. I'll give them the number, the FM number. Just type in Army Re-Education Camp Manual. And it says, for America, how they'll process our families, how they're going to re-educate us. I mean, that's a Soviet term, and I know I keep repeating that. Folks, the government is out of its mind, illegitimate, and hijacked. And they're commanding the military and police now. Okay, this giant, unconstitutional NSA spy grid, secret police grid we set up. It's FM 3-39.40, internment resettlement operations, February 2010. They're telling them, okay, it's for America. Now get your briefing on how we may go after Christians. You know, the state police earlier this year. Just one example, had a federal briefing. They had to go to this federal training to get federal funds in Colorado. And they called in literally hundreds of senior state police in the meeting that was in the Denver Post and other papers. And they said, yeah, we're going to run over the fact we may have to confiscate guns from Christians. And they went over how that's a targeted group of extremists, Christians, period. We believe we'll resist during what's coming. And the state police actually started getting up and saying, what are you talking about? What is this, the Soviet Union? And went public. That's what you're supposed to do. But see, they were there marking that down to see who was awake and who wasn't. And then they were removed. And then others that agreed to it, socialist and communist. And again, it's not a communist conspiracy. It's communists that fit into this plan, that only the state should be armed. They're then rotated forward. Then they start opening a ticket on it. Uh, if the state wants money, and they always make sure they control the commandant of the state police, to then you get written up, you get removed over the next few years. And imagine they go into the meeting and they say, uh, veterans and are the main group, and then also born-again Christians who believe in the second coming of Christ. Remember Janet Reno said that anyone who believes in the second coming of Christ is a cult member on 60 Minutes, and everybody freaked out in what, like 1998? And if you're a new listener, folks, I'm not making this up, Okay. That's why when you watch the film Purge, that's one of the uh, entries on the Paul Revere site, infowars.com forward slash Paul. About 95% of that film has actually already happened. When you see it and they're giving them briefings saying veterans, Christians are the enemy, that actually goes on. And they actually have clipboards. We have the videos. I was given by uh, state police in one case, another by firefighters that were made to go in Kansas City. Just type into YouTube, uh, FEMA teaches police uh, that uh, founding fathers are terrorists. And they actually bad mouth towards Washington, and they got one guy doing it with another guy with a clipboard watching them. And they're not there to see who's crazy and hates towards Washington. They're there promoting who, whoever hates towards Washington. I mean, it's just they're the enemy. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's, it's satirical. 800-259-9231. What do you make of the Pentagon briefing saying they won't lie anymore? What do you make of all the things that are happening? Do you think Bradley Manning should be sent to life in prison like they're calling for? Is he a hero or a zero? Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. 
And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is free humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live. The toll-free number to join us. Your take on why the Army PSYOPs head, well, the DOD PSYOPs head came out and admitted they've got to stop lying to the public and they've lost credibility and that the mainstream media is dying. Why would they do that? Uh, what do you think of Bradley Manning? Should he be found guilty? Obviously not from my perspective. 800-259-9231. Obama has prosecuted more members of the press for espionage, for exposing crimes, and more whistleblowers for exposing crimes than all presidents before him combined. And we're supposed to find out in the next hour and a half by 1 o'clock Eastern, so I guess that's really in about 30 minutes, uh, we're supposed to find out sometime after, sometime after 1 Eastern, I guess it's 1134 Central, 1234 Eastern, so anytime in the next 30 minutes to an hour, because they usually announce a little bit later than they say, uh, we'll be able to tell you in the next hour or so uh, exactly what's going on with that, but I want your take on it, 800-259-9231. And we'll go to, your, go to your phone calls there. But again, I specifically from the listeners want to get your take uh, on that question. Now, separately, I, I'm going to be honest. I do this at red lights, and I've noticed that it's still causing me to be distracted. 
But I see people almost running into me every day in Austin, Texas, who are driving while texting and while watching television. I see people with televisions on next to them in the passenger seat, flipped down in the visor, watching it while they drive. One time I saw a gas truck down by the coast. We were going on a family vacation a few years ago. I actually called the company on them. Before I called the police, I didn't call the police because the company answered. And this guy was in a gas truck in a two-lane road going over bridges, coming all the way out of his lane and over. I thought he was having a stroke or something. I pulled up beside him, and he was watching television on a iPhone as he drove a truck full of natural gas that would have gone off like 50 pounds of TNT if it would have uh, jumped over and exploded. And texting while driving kills more teens annually than drinking and driving. Yeah, the last number I saw is texting while driving with distractive driving is five times more dangerous statistically than drinking while driving. Well, but you drink one beer, they'll take you to jail that didn't do anything. But your tech, and, and they, they give the police waivers. I see cops all the time driving while they're looking at their computer. And they're like, well, they're trained to do it. Nobody's trained to do it. That's why you see record numbers of cops rear-ending people now. They're on their computers. Looking up, you know, that good-looking chick over there. Let me run her plates so I can find it, you know, everything about her. It's all instant. They just select, okay, I've already read her plates. The plate readers already have read everybody. Let me just activate and, you know, run her. And then, boom, oh, okay, I see what she does. Or maybe I'll pull her, her, her over. You know, that happens a lot. And what's happening is we're going into a technocracy. And children's brains on record are being rewired. Uh, their IQs in most cases are actually being restricted because they're on computers, not just watching television all day. And people are not developing human skills. The language is shrinking. Uh, the nomenclature is shrinking. Uh, the, the type of words people use are simplifying. Young people will speak to you in text speak. They'll say, K. So uh, you're going to be able to do that work for me later today? You're going to be able to get that done? K. And so what you have is people becoming wireheads, and this whole transhumanist thing is not empowering us. It's destroying our real perceptive humanity. And I'm not anti-computer in and of itself. It's a double-edged sword. It does a lot of good things, but it's also doing destructive things. Like all the major studies, you can pull them up, show listening to radio increases IQ and cognitive ability because you have to image. If I say the name Bradley Manning right now and you're listening on the radio, you have to then image what Bradley Manning looks like. And that makes you connect synapses and develops your mind. Reading increases cognitive function and neural connections and IQ on average and maintains uh, people's cognitive abilities later into life because you have to image and you tend to associate what you read with experiences you've had to then personalize it. That's why reading is so much more intense when you're reading about something horrible that's happened than almost even seeing it because you're having to image it and that makes it that much more real. But when you're passively watching something, it's very, very destructive, lowers IQ, lowers cognitive ability. Just type in television viewing Alzheimer's. You'll get over a hundred studies Last time I checked, BBC articles, you name it. Guys, just type in TV Alzheimer's and, and sh show viewers. That's why my radio show slash TV show, the radio side boosts IQ and factoid awareness and connects things to different issues. I take an article and then multifacet connected to other similar things, but also disparate things to get people thinking on purpose. See, they use media that's dumbed down to dumb you down. By dumbing down the media, it dumbs you down. Garbage in, garbage out. I try to upgrade the info to the highest levels I'm able to, even though it's at a feeble attempt sometimes, and you know, attempt to get you to widen your horizons. There's the Daily Mail. Can TV lead to Alzheimer's? And then it goes over the studies saying, yes, it can. Okay, continuing here. What am I getting at, ladies and gentlemen? Humanity is devolving. We're degenerating. Every metric shows that. The globalist society is, 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 is engineering the singularity towards a societal collapse. 
and towards really the destruction to a great extent of the human family. That they believe they will transcend in this great crisis to become God men. But all the common sense, all the history shows that's not going to happen. They're really degenerates that have created a rationale cosmology to, to validate the homicidal, control freak, bloodthirsty, vicious, jealous, envious selfishness that they're engaged in. And so I want to say to everybody, stop watching as much television. Stop surfing mindless celebrity crap on the internet. If you're going to be on the internet, try to make it edifying. Try to make it multifaceted. Try to look at things that you don't agree with to, to expand your awareness and to see other perspectives. Don't stay just in your own little niche. That's what the system wants. That's what Google admits they're trying to do by, by giving you search results that they think you want, tailoring it to you to actually keep you on a digital reservation. The singularity is coming. It is real, and they are riding it towards a very selfish end that will not go well for anyone. And towards the fact that I see people in large transportation constantly distracted, and of course the government will use this now to have computers that monitor you, uh, Mercedes and Lexus already have this, so that when you do distracted driving enough times it calls the police on you. So see, their answer will be, let all this happen and then bring in total control as the answer, and then have the robots drive the car, Google's already announcing that, we're only like five years away from them trying to force this. Where, okay, you can drive yourself, but you've got to be monitored by a robot that takes control if you haven't been a good driver. And you've got to pay extra. And then pretty soon, it's robots driving you regardless. And again, the robot is the car computer itself. Just like the Google cars are already operating in all 50 states without humans in them. Just like uh, you have... The smart meter that's really a surveillance robot to control your life, sure, it doesn't have legs yet. They're designing the future not to be wondrous and empowering, but to be dehumanizing and controlling because they've already decided you're an ugly, dumb animal who wouldn't want to transcend. Because they are ugly, dumb animals that run things, they don't want to transcend. The decision's been made to have an ugly future, and I don't want that to happen, and I want to have a real debate about this now. But everybody serving the system needs to understand, just being aware of this and then joining it doesn't mean you're winning. It means you're a fool. The greatest fool of all knows the trap, goes into it, thinking that they're in control because they know it is a cultural, technological bear trap. Knowing of the trap and then figuring out a way to get out of the trap is the answer. And you're not going to karmically, and I don't mean that in the sense of the Hindus or the Buddhist, I mean just in a reap what you sow term, you're not going to know of a trap, build it, and then get out of it, and then let others go into it and not have that come back on you. It does not work that way. That is a fundamental law of the universe. Not sure of your father the devil, many of you that serve evil, whether you believe the devil or not, the archetype of dominance, total control, total selfishness, murderous power, you worship like a moth to flame the dark majesty of evil, but it will burn you. And, and finally, before I go to your phone calls, Spain train driver on phone at time of deadly crash. This is just out via the BBC. Train driver in last week's crash in Spain was talking on the phone when derailed investigators say the train was traveling 192 kilometers, 119 miles an hour at the time. Investigators at the Court of Justice said Francisco Jose Garzon Amo, or Amo, was speaking to members of the staff of the state-owned railway company. Crash investigators have opened the train's black box data recorder to find the cause of the crash, which left 79 people dead. Mr. Carzon is expected of reckless homicide, but he has not yet been formally charged. Yeah, he reportedly just kept driving into a turn that he knew he was supposed to slow down, but wasn't thinking. Because people watch violence on television all day. They watch wrecks all day on TV. They don't understand that it could happen to them. They don't understand consequences. I found, and studies show this with computers, people will send violent emails to people 
or threatening emails to their boss because it's an email. They wouldn't do it to somebody's face, but they'll do it via email. See, you don't understand the danger you're in. 30 years ago, they didn't let reactors leak all over the world. Now, from France to Japan to the U.S., 91% of reactors are leaking deadly radiation. That's federal government's own numbers, uh, Atomic Energy Agency's numbers, uh, the Nuclear Regulatory Agency's numbers. Look it up. They just go, oh, we just turned the alarms off in Southern California. Yeah, the reactors leak now. We just don't have the alarms go off because, you know, we don't want to scare people. Oh, we didn't used to let the troops use DU because we knew it would kill them until 1990. But now we just don't care. We say it's okay. Yeah, we know that hundreds of millions of Americans were given cancer in the polio shots alone, and it was done on purpose. That's federal government's own documents. It's, it's admitted. Just look it up. It's in the news yesterday again. It's like, so what? You know, just what, what's the big deal? Your mom and dad died. We killed them. But, oh, isn't it scary? A terrorist might blow you up. Oh, let's take all your rights, even though honeybees kill three times more people each year than terrorists do. Now, there's a headline. 48 nuke sites in the U.S. Leak, uh, leaking. That's AP. Now, that's old. Now, now, the latest number is, if you type in, uh, over 90% of reactors leaking worldwide. There's like 400 and... 20-something official reactors, hundreds of experimental reactors. There's two experimentals in Austin. I have yuppies walk to me and go, there's no reactor in Austin. Because they don't want to believe there is. Okay, there isn't. There's one under UT downtown, another in North Austin, the J.J. Pickle Center. They have a public website. It's not debatable, but it doesn't exist, see, because you have magical powers. If you say there's no Army manual that says they're building FEMA camps for you and your family, then there's no FEMA camp. And Glenn Beck will tell you there isn't, so it must be true. And, you're not, and if they tell you there's no reactor, you know, it's fine. There's not. All right, I'm going to tell you about some amazing products here that also fund the broadcast. And uh, then we are going to go to your phone calls here, and then we're going to get some guests on. And let's get Syrian Girl on at the bottom of the next hour so I can go to calls. I know she thinks she's on the first 30. Let's do the second 30 because I want to have some time with her today coming up. Uh, Tangy Tangerine, you just said K. That's right, that's right. CJ just said K to me, see, he's, he's the singularity there. Uh, it's where we all just weigh 800 pounds. He doesn't weigh 800 pounds. But, but it, you know, it's kind of like that movie Wally, where we all fly around on the big uh, ocean liner in the sky and weigh 800 pounds and can't talk and have robots bringing us Slurpees. That's not how it's going to end, ladies and gentlemen. They're just going to release a bioweapon and wipe us all out. That's openly been debated by the UN, the Club of Rome, Bill Joy, all of them. Uh, and uh, all the Hollywood and billionaires are all clamoring at transhumanist conferences to, you know, be part of the group that doesn't get wiped out. And it's all like a, a big power trip for them with Ray Kurzweil. And I'm just here trying to warn you. But you may not want to listen, I understand. Uh, but the point is, beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, I want to challenge you to go to InfoWarsHealth.com and look at the over 400 products in the catalog there, like the Longevity Beyond Osteo FX, uh, the amazing products that are there, the Pollen Burst, plus the best energy drink, natural and incredibly healthy, a turbo boost of energy and brain power. It's all available right now at InfoWarsHealth.com. But the new Tangy Tangerine 2.0 just came out this month, and I've challenged everybody in the month of July uh, to go uh, become a uh, customer there at InfoWarsHealth.com to get the very best products out there, but to also support the broadcast. So if you haven't gone online and signed up at InfoWarsHealth.com to be a distributor for 10 bucks, you can get discounts or just buy right off the shopping cart. Uh, there are over 400 products right there for heart, brain, stomach, liver, uh, you name it. it. It's just all there by section, uh, memory, uh, blood health, uh, kidney health. I mean, it's just all there. InfoWarsHealth.com or the certified non-GMO pesticide-free whole food uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. And they have the original Beyond Tangy Tangerine up there. Nothing comes close to this liquid super nutrient uh, power pack system. InfoWarsHealth.com. Or if you'd like to call and ask any questions or sign up via the phone. Uh, or uh, get stuff delivered to your home, or uh, learn how to sign up for free auto shipping so you get free shipping, a huge discount, 888-789-9277, 888-789-9277, InfoWarsHealth.com.
And again, we promote and push what, whatever I've researched and have found from all of my experts and my own research to be the very best. Like Propure and InfoWarsStore.com, where you can find all the books, the t-shirts, the magazine, the very best documentary films, all of it at InfoWarsStore.com. You can get Propure, the best gravity-fed filters, side-by-side -side comparisons, 10% off, promo code WATER when you call or when you check out. Put WATER in and get 10% off. We've got the Live Straw, Modifylin, the best uh, supplement out there, seaweed extract, uh, available discounted at InfoWarsStore.com, or call to get the ProPure, 888-253-3139. A lot of people claim their gravity feds are the best. Look at the side-by-side -side comparisons. It is the best. That's why we carry it. Shortwave radios, the best, the lowest prices, all of it. InfoWarsStore.com and shopping with the good guys funds the most hardcore liberty operation in the world. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.